It's just a matter of weeks before the unique interstellar comet known as 3I Atlas is expected to pass closest to the sun between the orbits of Mars and Earth. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb has suggested that 3I Atlas is actually some type of alien technology sent here from another solar system. But this is moving wrong, too fast. And then it started to glow. You know that object from deep space that's supposedly heading for Mars? Yeah, well, NASA has data on it. Lots of data. But they're only sharing the boring parts, the parts that they figured out. But what about those that are still left behind? Those that don't play by our rules? And what it's telling us? Changes everything. I'm going to show you the evidence they aren't putting in the headlines. But what exactly this object is telling us? You clicked on this video because you saw the headlines, 3i Atlas, Mars Impact, Strange Visitor. You likely have questions. Is this real? Is it threatening to Earth? And why isn't anyone explaining what's really going on? I'm going to answer all your questions. We are going to follow the data from the first glimpse in Chile to the latest James Webb revelations. We will meet the scientists, decode the anomalies, and separate fact from fiction. By the end of this documentary, you will understand not just what 3i Atlas is, but what it represents. Our first tangible piece of a completely alien star system. And you will see why its impending pass by Mars is one of the most significant astronomical events of our lifetimes. Let's begin. It was July 2025. The skies above the Chilean Andes are clear, perfect for astronomy. At the Atlas Survey Telescope, researchers are scanning for near-Earth asteroids when a faint point of light streaks across their data stream. At first glance, it looks like just another comet. But the software flags something odd. Velocity. Within a few days, observatories around the world confirmed the discovery. They officially named it 3I Atlas. 3I stands for Third Interstellar, and it's the only third confirmed object from another star to ever enter our solar neighborhood. There were only two confirmed visitors before this. The first was the needle-shaped Oumuamua in 2017. The second, the icy comet Borisov in 2019. Now comes number three, and from the start, it behaves like it has secrets to tell. Its path proved it was just passing through, but its first images revealed something the others didn't have. A signature. A color. That green? isn't an artist's interpretation. Early, it shows the neutral signs of a comet, a bright central nucleus wrapped in a fuzzy halo of gas and dust called a coma. But even in these first nights, observers note something unsettling. The coma suddenly glows green. Not even a faint tinge, but a rich emerald light visible across wide spectral bands. Astronomers were confused. Why does it carry so much carbon in the first place? It was the first clue that we weren't dealing with a familiar comet on a new path. We were dealing with something entirely new. But the green light was just the beginning. It was what we couldn't see that would cause real shockwaves. To find it, astronomers would need to point the most powerful telescope ever built directly at it and what it found. Webb's job was to read the chemical fingerprint of the coma. Scientists expected to see the familiar pattern. Typical comets in our solar system are dominated by water ice. Carbon dioxide plays a supporting role. But Atlas flips the script. The Webb data shows a CO2 to H2O ratio of roughly eight to one. For every molecule of water, eight molecules of carbon dioxide pour into space. 
That means roughly 16 times more CO2 than we see in normal comets. It's as if this object formed in a world where oxygen, the building block of water, was scarce, and carbon reigned supreme. 16 times more carbon dioxide than water. This isn't a slight difference. It's a fundamental rewrite. This object did not form in a system like ours, where water is abundant. It formed in a carbon-rich environment, a place where the basic ingredients of planets are completely different. If the carbon dioxide was a shock, the next discovery was one that truly broke the model. It involved two elements that are cosmic twins. Finding one without the other isn't just rare. According to our understanding of the universe, it's almost impossible. Spectrographs detect the clear signature of nickel, but no iron. In cosmic chemistry, nickel and iron are inseparable twins. They condense together in supernovae. They travel together in meteors and appear side by side in almost every rock we've tested. In every asteroid, every meteorite, every planet we've ever studied, iron and nickel are found together. They are forged in the same stellar furnaces. They are companions. Finding nickel without iron is like finding a shoe with no pair. If the basic rules of chemistry don't hold in 3i Atlas, what does that tell us about the planets, or even life that might orbit its parent star? This discrepancy is perhaps the single greatest mystery of 3i Atlas. How? Did it form in a place so hot that iron remained a gas while nickel solidified? Was it subjected to some kind of cosmic filtration we can't comprehend? The theories are wild because the data demands them. These incredible anomalies are all emanating from a central nucleus. But here we face our most practical problem, the very thing that makes it so fascinating. Its immense, mysterious coma is also hiding its true heart from us. And without knowing its size, we can't truly begin to understand its story. As Webb keeps watching, Another puzzle pops up. The size. Measuring a distant, fast-moving comet is never easy, but Atlas makes it nearly impossible. Its comma, the glowing gas cloud, spans 300,000 kilometers, wider than the distance from Earth to the Moon. Yet its solid core remains hidden in that fog. Early estimates range wildly, from a modest 3 kilometers to a staggering 46 kilometers across. Imagine not knowing whether you're dealing with a small town or an entire city. Each new observation revises the numbers, but the true scale stays just out of reach. And while astronomers debate composition and size, another question captures public attention. Its trajectory. The hyperbolic path is clear. 3i Atlas is not bound to the sun. It will swing through the inner solar system once and then vanish into deep space. But as calculations improve, its closest pass grows more precise and more dramatic. The object will make a near approach to Mars, passing within a range that allows unprecedented observation. Impact is unlikely, but not impossible in the minds of a nervous public. What happens if a body carrying unknown chemistry actually hits a planet? Could it seed Mars with exotic material or something more dangerous? Scientists caution that the risk is vanishingly small, but they also admit they've never modeled a visitor quite like this. The Size Mystery and the Mars Flyby Is it a tiny hyperactive powerhouse or a massive stable behemoth? Estimates range from a few kilometers to dozens of kilometers wide. The fog of gas is too thick to tell. This uncertainty is why the upcoming Mars encounter is so critical. This isn't about impact. It's about proximity. Our robots at Mars will have a front row seat. They might finally get a clear look at the nucleus itself. They could gather data that solves the iron mystery, that explains the CO2. 
This flyby is our best chance to close the loops we've opened today. Human connection. For the scientists tracking it, 3i Atlas isn't just a data point. It's a messenger. Every spectrum, every flicker of light is a postcard from a place we may never visit. Consider this. In the Milky Way, stars form giant clouds of gas and dust. These clouds condense into planets, comets, and asteroids. If Atlas formed around a carbon-rich star, its chemistry tells us such worlds exist, worlds where water is scarce and carbon is king. Could such systems host life? If life there arose under carbon dominance, its biology might be unrecognizable. Silicon frameworks, methane oceans, chemistries we barely imagine. Every molecule escaping from 3i Atlas carries a hint of that alien recipe. By studying it, we catch a rare glimpse of how diverse the galaxy really is. 3i Atlas may have been wandering for hundreds of millions of years before a chance alignment sent it through our backyard. Its upcoming encounter with Mars will be the climax of this cosmic road trip. For planetary scientists, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Mars orbiting spacecraft will turn their cameras outward, capturing close-up views as the comet sweeps past. Webb and Earth-based telescopes will monitor every spark of gas, every chemical fingerprint, hoping to decode the story locked in its ice. And then, just as suddenly as it appeared, 3i Atlas will vanish. Its hyperbolic path will fling it back into the void bound for the deep dark between stars. We will never see it again, but the data it leaves behind will occupy scientists for decades. Each unexplained ratio, each missing element, each flicker of green light is a clue to how different the universe can be. Is 3i Atlas a natural artifact showing us the infinite variety of the cosmos? Or does its series of impossible anomalies point to something else entirely? In the end, 3i Atlas may never strike a planet. It may pass silently by, its secrets locked in a trail of gas and dust. But for a brief moment in cosmic time, it reminds us of something profound, that the universe is larger, stranger, and more creative than any story we tell about. The greatest stories are not those with neat endings. They are those that open doors to new worlds and questions. 3i Atlas is that story. It is a messenger from the void, reminding us that our solar system is not a template. It is just one example. It tells us that the galaxy is stranger, more diverse, and more wonderful than we ever imagined. The past, it seems, is not the only thing filled with mystery. The future, and the deep space it contains, is waiting to be uncovered. What do you believe 3i Atlas is? A natural wonder? Or something more?